the last patrol ship of Russian Black Sea Fleet escaped from shores of Crimea. The last patrol ship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet left the temporarily occupied Crimea on July the 15th. This was stated by the spokesman of the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Pletenchuk. The last patrol ship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet left our Crimea. Remember this day. He emphasized on social networks. He confirmed this information on air at Kiev 24. If we talk about some significant things, then the last patrol ship from the Russian Black Sea Fleet left our Crimea, the speaker said. According to him, this unit left accompanied by two support ships. These are not combat ships. He emphasized that the enemy's tactics in the Black Sea are currently limited to interbase transitions. This is very important, he emphasized. As reported earlier, the Ukrainian Navy said that the Russian occupiers understand that it is dangerous for them to deploy their ships in the Black Sea, so they use only submarines there. According to Dmitry Pletenchuk, a submarine is more vulnerable at its base. However, there was information that even at the bases, they keep them in a semi-submerged state. Only the bridge remains above water. Also, the occupiers draw the outlines of submarines on the pier to mislead the Ukrainian armed forces. As Pletenchuk noted, a submarine is a rather difficult target while underwater, which is why the enemy prefers to use these units. Russia's war against Ukraine is shattering the conventions of warfare in many ways. One of the most illustrative examples is the systematic destruction of Russia's Black Sea Fleet by Ukraine, a country that has virtually no navy of its own. The Ukrainian military's use of coastal missile systems, air-launched cruise missiles and sea and air drones has forced Russia to up its Black Sea port defences and create a naval base in Russian-occupied Abkhazia. U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump was shot during a rally in Pennsylvania. This was reported by the U.S. press. In the images, it was shown that gunshots were heard and that Trump's ear was damaged. District Prosecutor Richard Goldinger said in his statement that two people died during the incident and emphasized that one of them was a rally participant and the other was a suspect. Donald Trump commented on the attempt on him at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. He thanked the U.S. Secret Service and all law enforcement agencies for their quick response. A bullet was fired at me, piercing the upper part of the right ear. I immediately understood that something was wrong, heard a whistle, shots, and immediately felt a bullet tearing the skin. There was severe bleeding, and then I realized what was happening, the politician said. Press Secretary and Political Assistant Stephen Chun reported that Trump feels good. He is undergoing a medical examination at the hospital. U.S. President Joe Biden had a telephone conversation with Republican candidate Donald Trump, who was injured during the election campaign in Pennsylvania. A White House official told reporters about this. This evening, the president spoke with former President Trump, the White House official said. He did not disclose the details of the conversation. According to him, Biden also spoke with Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro and the mayor of Butler, where Trump's rally was held, Bob Den Doyle. The U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation has identified the suspect of shooting Donald Trump as a 20-year-old man from Pennsylvania. This was reported by CNN reporter Abby Phillip. The FBI has identified the suspect. His name has not yet been released, but sources say he is a 20-year-old man from Pennsylvania. The journalist said. According to Reuters, Trump was shot by a young man named Matthew Crooks.